It is Picture Game 75. Here today we're playing License to Breed. All right, here we go. Ah, my name is Maso, and it smells like woman out here, not the gross guy smelling from my dorm. Oh, it's good to be back home. Being stuck in that hellish all guys dorm for so long, rotting my brain. Can't believe it's been half a year already. Half a year ago, I got called for for my buy-in of the Monic family for something. Maria Amani, the head of the Amani family and mayor of the city. It's fine, alright, you say so. It's like a bad light. The Amani family is powerful and influential, both in the financial and political world. And as, as the name suggests here in Amani town, they are basically gods. No one goes against the Amanes. <laughs> I'm a part of the Amani branch family, so I'm hardly treated well by the big shots in the main family. Right, right. <laughs> but lucky me, I'm, I'm all alone with you. What do you say? You want to take this to the next level? What? So I gotta leave tomorrow? She's, she's half hands, half throws a pamphlet at me. Huh? I never agreed to that. Where the hell is this place anyways? This isn't even close to here. Ew. It's only dudes too. I don't want to go there. Ew, hell no. An all men storm. Complaints? What? I've never done that before in my life. Who ratted me out? Asia, Risa, Bifuyu? I tried to think of who might have told me, told on me. I have been eyeing up too many chicks to know for sure, though. Damn it, they all probably did it. Those rats, man. Especially Ray. She, she definitely do this, like, man. She flashes a cold grin like I'm being sent off for execution. Sheesh. The fertility rate has dropped drastically over the years, leaving fewer and fewer men in power. Women get partners nearly everywhere, so all and all of men storm in this day and age is torture. They take your smartphones, prevent you from leaving, and you're not able to even look at a woman while you're in there. There's nothing but smelly guys. Yeah. I finally made it out, and I had to convince Maria to let me stay here for this time. But what's this about my grandfather's will? The reason I'm back here in the first place has to do with my grandfather's will. Being a part of the main family and one of the more important people at, the, at that, it's a big deal. I don't really see or talk to him much at all. Oh gosh, don't tell me they've called me here to kick me out of the family or something. I filled my with nerves, though they're quickly calmed by a pleasant smell filling my nose as I follow the smell I soon spot where it's coming from bro what Risa Hoshiyama a stereotypical girl gal what's that Mary side of me and pretends to plug her nose banned from town what are you smoking what huh banned That's crazy. You try to get me kicked out all because... Bro. Are you the reason I got sent to that living hell? All, all of you? Maria did say she got some complaints. Not just one. Risa walks off, brushing her body like... She's cleaning herself. So she was in, was in on it, but she said, 
everyone was she just ex over exaggerating hmm what's going on over here huh Who's this Hotaru? Familiar name. Hotaru. I suddenly get grabbed by a horrible angry woman and pulled away from Hotaru. In the next moments, a sharp pain strikes my body. Ow, stop it. Like, don't hit me. Ow. Yo, they're crazy. angry woman I'm not able to do a thing as I'm showered in punches and kicks ah uh, huh Ray Ray Kazaki although the Kazaki family isn't nearly as influential as the Amani family it's well up to their and their noble families Ray is a former classmate of mine Who are you calling a fucking pig? Yo, that's crazy, bro. They gonna start calling us names and shit like... <laughs> Stop calling me pig. Giving Hotaro orders. Shut up, shut it. You guys getting up on on me and You know, so you are among the people who report me too. All of you are just the worst. Sheesh. A group of private security from a wall in front of Ray as I shout at her, glaring at me. I run off in the other direction, rushing for my old house. I finally made it because I can't say I'm home anymore. Ah. days. As I reach Maria's mansion, a different beautiful girl greets me at the entrance. I try to run away, but she grabs my neck, bringing me into a headlock. Sheesh. This is Bifuya Chiba. She's a martial arts instructor and a distant relative of mine. Ah, you helped me get kicked out too? Ouch.
this voice Asami? I'm finally released from the headlock and spot that Asami sucked. She glares at me. I can feel hatred coming from those eyes. I think it goes without saying that she was in on getting me kicked out too. Damn it. You know that, well, it's actually going to be going to me. So, uh, is she ignoring me? God. Feeling exhausted and defeated, I head inside and find Maria. Oh, man. Maria, it's been so long. You're as beautiful as ever. Grandfather's will again? Well, I need to grieve. Maria hands me a smartphone. Huh? Is this it? Um, don't you want to stay to read the will? Tickets are these are tickets. All right, what? Back to the that hellhole. Maria walks off. I'm left confused, looking down at the at the will in my hand. Phew! With how cold everyone is being to me, I doubt this will actually going to leave me with anything. Why is the leader of the family, so I'm obviously not being given any title like that. It's just going to be something like, here's a phone, now get out of my town or some shit. Like, I bet it is. <laughs> let's read read it first, I guess. Let, let's see. Our family is on the brink of collapse. Our birth rate has dropped drastically, getting worse with each passing year. Because of this birth, birthing new years to the Imani family is our utmost priority right now. Making new children from the Imani family is more important than anything. Thus, it shall be allowed any time, any place in the city. No exceptions. Anyone who opposes the rule should be kicked out of the city and disowned immediately. Even if they are not from the Amani bloodline, they will be punished regardless. The message with what I just read goes out to everyone. Alright. This is like on um, World's End Harem. Like, this is what this game is. Below the message to signature of every important person in town, so that, th that this is 100% legitimate. You can't be serious. It all sounds like a joke. Way too, too good to be true. Do I really have all that power right now? I wouldn't be able to come up with this such a crazy scenario even with my wildest dreams. Haha, <laughs> is this actually happening? Wait, no. I need to check that. It's not a prank. This is just like World's End Harem. That's what this whole thing is. I'm practically drooling from excitement. I can't rule this being some kind of sick joke out. Actually, considering how mean people are to me, it could be. I need to find someone who's to test this out on first. Hmm. Searching up Risa, the first girl I ran into after coming back to town. First girl to insult and humiliate. This whole thing really is true. 
I don't need to hold back. If it's a choke, well then my life is over, I guess. She passed out. Well, now she's mine for sure. This isn't a dream, right? <laughs> I really did it. Starts to dawn on me what just happened, I'm, and I'm filled with excitement and joy. Wait, but the message said I could do this with literally anyone. Will and for everyone else react like Lisa? Lisa did too? Oh, that's crazy. Next day, I've headed out in the search of my tech next target. Tried calling her and setting up a meeting, but... This phone doesn't have her number. Maria had it before, so maybe she deleted some contacts. But that's what our cute Hotaru is for. Can't let any can't let my chance get at any get with this such a cute slip by. Bro, what is what what the hell? <laughs> I can barely even talk for this. I've come back to the place where Hotaru was doing her handshake even last event last night. Same place she's having her concert today. Head straight for the stage and start climbing on top of it. A horde of my bodyguards push, rush towards me, of course, but after showing them my phone and message, they back off. Okay, the concert is called off, people, alright? Time to go home. Everyone get the fuck out. Like, The fans below the stage start booing and shouting at me. Good, you haven't forgotten the face of the guy you sent an angry mob after. I could have died, you know. Controlling your fans is part of your job as an idol, you know. <laughs> she's, the way out she's trying to say fuck, bro. The crowd cheers in excitement, marking the end of Hotaru's concert. Before you should be here, should be in here. Oh my days. How are we gonna fight martial arts and smashing at the same time? <laughs> I've come over to Mifuyu's dojo and want to do her next. Fuyu snuck up on me without me noticing like usual. His eyes sparkle and I can see sense and anger probably below her skin from here. I definitely overdid it. Oh shit, she's going to kill me. Wait, no, focus. Don't let her intimidate you. She says she's been going easy on me, but the truth is, every practice session we've had has had an excuse for her to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I won't lose to you. You remember the Amani family. You know you have to listen to me. That's crazy, bro. We're doing this. All right, with a few out of the way, my next target is Asami, the shrine maiden of a nearby shrine. And we're just... Yeah, right. Sheesh, that's quite the attitude. You saw the text too, right? So you must know what I'm here for. I'm going to fulfill my duty as the only male in the Amani family. Shouldn't talk to shouldn't talk like that in front of the god. What what do you 
not want to make babies with me. Let me show you how I'm able to, how able I am. Then, I want to do it right here. That should have been enough to make you learn your place, right? And so I got my hands on asking me as well. Wasting no time, I sent my son on my next prey. Koji Hotara, Ray is supposed to show up here. Since Ray is Hotara's producer now, it was easy having her help me lure Ray out. Koji Hotara, Ray should be arriving any second. Ray has been bullying me for years, ever since I met her in school. I won't ever forget the time she forced on forced me on all fours and paraded me around the school like a pig. Ah, as I think back on the horrible things she did, I spot a car racing towards me. There she is. Hey, stop. Stop the car. Stop. Race car stopped a bit too close to me, making me throw myself out of the way just in case. Holy shit, it almost hit me. Come out, Ray. Yeah, I know you're in there. Ray glares at me, clearly angry. For your phone suddenly starts ringing. Ray goes from glaring at me to stop staring into space, shocked. What's wrong? Did Daddy say something strange? Did he order you to do something by any chance? Ha! Huh. I sure did. I talked with your dad earlier and he is, was thrilled at the idea of mixing me some of Mamani blood to his family. Oh, I don't have, I don't want money, but hmm. This looks great on you, pig. Keep squealing, come on. There's one more target I'm dying to get my hands on, though. The Mary Maria. I'm the, on my way to her office right now. find Mario at the press conference in her office and just run up to her casually. Mario panics at my comment trying to calm the crowd. I'm sorry, I thought you just said you did see the message, but if you did, you know what you know that you do indeed have to do what I tell you. Or are you saying you the next in line in the Amani family is going to disrespect the wishes of the past head of the family by not following his will? Mario's face consorts in anger. The moment I see that frustration on her face, I know I've got her, and it's Feels amazing.
No, no, don't leave. Do not leave. It's your job to report on what's happening in the city, so you should report on this. Hmm, you don't, you don't know when to quit, do you? That's what this is for, tough, though. Now let's put on the nice show. Yeah, a few days later, I decided to make Mario's place for my place my house for now. Not bad. Did you call the others over already? Ever since the whole thing with Mario was aired live on TV, there they've been some small protests outside our residence. The remaining five all new in a heartbeat. You all understand why you're kneeling right now, right? The moment I entered, a girl in her 20s jump up to greet me. Alright, well, we'll just have to wait till she comes back. Well, anyways, that is the end of this video, everyone. If we hit over 10 likes for this video, I'll do a part 2. But anyways, that is it for now. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.